umeibua mseto wa hisia huku baadhi ya wanaume wakieleza namna msoda huo unavyowa udhi kuonekana kutaka kuwakandamiza na leo chama cha maendeleo ya wanaume mawa kimetangaza kuwa kimebuni mswada mbadala utakao jali maslahi ya wanaume Njoka akizungumza mjini Nyeri hii leo amesema kuwa baadhi ya vipengee katika mswada huo wa ndoa vinapendekeza ndoa iwe ya mkataba badala ya kudumu milele. Huyu hapa Karol Nderi na taarifa kuhusu mswada mbadala kutoka chama cha maendeleo ya wanaume. Akionekana kukerwa na vipengee kadhaa katika mswada mpya wa ndoa anayedai kuzungumza kwa niaba ya wanaume si mwingine bali Nderi Tunjoka alitangaza kuwa chama cha maendeleo ya wanaume Mawa kimebuni mswada mwingine wa ndoa utakao mkinga mwanamume dhidi ya unyanyasaji kutoka mkewe We are not going to accept as men to be sat on by women We this is our time to speak kuwa mswada wa mawa unapendekeza lifuatalo until death do us part is a sick joke and 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 may only apply to successful marriages marriage relationships in a, in a fact it should change to read until separation gender violence or divorce do us part na kuwa kiini cha mswada huu kinaibua shauku this bill has it is very possible that it has been sponsored by feminists and uh, women who do not respect uh, their, the, 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 the men and also women who don't have husbands ugavi wa mali nusu bin nusu vile vile umemuudhi this pro matrimonial property bill wants to rob of men's property you cannot just come in my marriage and come to divide my property just because we are married na je kuhusu kumuuliza mke wa kwanza idhini ya kumuoa mke mwingine an african man once he decides to get married under a customary law and his wife accepts that she knows that that marriage is potentially polygamous this man is likely to marry another wife or wives and in that case she does not expect any information na basi chama cha mawa kinatumai kuwa mswada wao mbadala utaweza kumkomboa mwanamume kutoka kwa minyororo inayomfunga katika mswada unaosubiri kujadiliwa Karol Nderi Ketin leo